Well, good, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the dining room table of the 1925 bungalow. I'm Scott. What you see in front of you is not a live sale preview, no. Well, it's actually two things. It's a thrift haul, but it's also an announcement that everything you see on that table and more is for sale right now in the old curiosity shop, eBay store. Now, I listed most of it yesterday and the day before, and they only run for seven days. So depending on when you watch this video, ooh, they may be gone. Now, I'm not trying to trick you into, you know, anything, but I'm just letting you know, is, I run seven day auctions. And remember, if you're afraid you might miss out on something, subscribe to the eBay store. It doesn't cost you anything and they'll send you a notification at the end of the day and they'll say, hey, look what Scooty has put in his store and you won't miss anything. All right, let's take a look. The thing I am blown away at is something that I just got maybe yesterday or the day before is this super fantastic Art Deco Noritake. That's right. It's a Noritake Moramora Brothers. I've got to get some of that. That's residue on the bottom from a sticker, which I've got to get off. But there's the... Now, why don't you want to focus for me? Oh, all right, be a poopy head. Uh, take a look at that. <sighs> oh my gosh, it doesn't get any more Art Deco than that, or at least not much. If you're an ashtray collector, whoo, there you go. You'll recognize the Rose Point pattern um, by uh, Cambridge. And we've got two hurricane shades, which uh, fit down in. Now, these are excellent with no chips or cracks. If you're a Rose Point collector, there you go. From the mid-30s into the mid-50s, I will kindly remind you that the measurements as well as full descriptions are in the eBay store. And the link is always in the description box underneath of the video. This looks familiar because I've sold some and I'm selling some more. It's more of this wonderful Homer Laughlin restaurant, uh, diner, a restaurant wear. So you'll receive four uh, cups and saucers and four little dessert plates, very small dessert plates, although they are a little bit bigger than the saucers. This is in excellent condition as well without any damage on it, I'm happy to tell you. You know that the Imperial Company produced candle wick for quite some time, and there it is. There's the mayonnaise, and what is so nice is you've got the liner, the mayonnaise bowl, and the matching spoon, look at that. Now that could easily get separated over the years, could it not? Candlewick is such a pretty pattern. These are listed, the pitcher goes with them and I don't know where, I guess the pitcher is out in the kitchen somewhere. Um, two, four, six, little juice glass, uh, orange juice glasses. And there is a pitcher, as I said, but that's in the other room. Six, Mildred pattern dinner plates, 10 inches, made by Mount Clemens, late 20s into the mid 30s. Um, very few, almost no utensil marks at all. No chips, no cracks, no crazing, no staining, which is really nice. A collection of, no, I did not steal these from my mama, although this is the set she received when she got married in the 60s. Um, and uh, she still uses the set. She's used it every day for, what, 50 years. We're going to sell the three early American mixing bowls. They all match. They all have the same pattern. Yeah. And then the little, what they call, I guess, a Cinderella bowl. That's, that's in a separate auction. Okay. Uh, what did I tell you? Royal Copley? I think, boy, a lot of people had this in the 1950s. My lighting, I should be facing the other way. Um, so these all, I'm selling all of these together. The Ivy. Vases. 
And then there's a piece there. Pretty certain that is a piece of Lancaster glass uh, with a dark pattern and it is very lovely. Look at the colors on that. Get that in the sunlight, boy. Man, that would look nice filled with some ambrosia. Depression era, no damage. Take a look at that. Crawfish, lobster, whatever it is. But it's lusterware. It's made in Japan. And it's not that easy to find. This has one boo-boo right here. There's a chip in it. All right, I know that. But I couldn't say no to it. This is all hand-painted. <clears throat> look at that. And this is also... Uh, Deco 1930s Japan. So there's the underplate and uh, the bowl. Boy, you could do, hey, don't feel like you just have to serve shrimp salad in that. You could do a lot with it. Back here, I believe this is probably, probably, because I've seen several examples of this lamp. However, uh, they're all different. My guess is, is that you might have been able to find the instructions on how to make this in one of your popular mechanics magazines or one of your home crafting magazines in the 30s and 40s. This might have been even a project for high school kids in shop class. But it's a wooden base with its old pull chain. This is just, I mean, iconic, the design on it. Has a beautiful honey color. It's been coated in shellac. That's the original. And then this metal here is almost like Venetian blinds, and I'm not even I'm not even uh, sure that it might not be. That wasn't grammatically correct. Uh, see, it's remember those old big, heavy, thick Venetian blinds that your grandmother had to take down twice a year and put in the bathtub and wash. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, because this is metal and I love there's the old socket and this is green see it's all the old original finish on it and everything so like a torchier uh, lamp for the table or whatever you know put it on a radio or that's just and you know the light indirectly comes up uh, this th that's a great lamp folks and as I said the condition is original and I can't really say any more about it other than how much I love it. Two butter prints, and you're gonna get in. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna get an extra lid, and there are two different sizes there. Again, I don't re recall at the moment, but it is listed in the eBay store. It will the, the um, you can go and see uh, the two sizes. The one that you're looking at on the left is a little bit larger than the one on the right. They're both in excellent condition, and you get an extra lid. Uh, now, you know, the crazy thing is, I said I never find Philby bowls. I found one. A week later, I found a second one. And maybe a week later, I found a third one. All in different shops. So who knows? Maybe Grandpa got confused and drove around and donated one bowl to each thrift store. But there's the nesting set. Now, was there another one smaller or another one larger? I didn't have time to go into my fire, my anchor hawking book. So, but there's the three anyway. They're in excellent condition. They're all marked Fire King on the bottom. The little graduated nesting bowls in, in sapphire blue. Oh, I told a lie. I did not list the Lariat by Heise yet. Oh, I forgot to do that, but I'll get on it. Don't you worry about a thing. Uh, that pattern is called Lariat for obvious reasons. Can you see the Lariat? And you know, I don't even want to get fingerprints on it. Uh, when you see that quality of glass, you know you're talking about, let me grab it from here. You know you're talking about the Heise company. Look at that. So there are two of these, although you only see one on the table, there are two of them. Um, Heise went out of business in the 50s, so, you know, you can figure it out. I just found two Heise. Wait a minute. Let's have, hold on for just a second, boys and girls. Let me set this 
camera down and I'm gonna run out into the kitchen and get something. Hold on for just just a fraction of a second if you if you'll kindly do that. Now watch that's probably gonna no, I, right, hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, I wanna get something. I wanna show you something that I bought <coughs> yesterday. Where is it? Here we go. Now these are not in the eBay store because I actually just got them yesterday and just washed them. But since we're talking about Heisey glass, let me move this. Since we are talking about Heisey and the Heisey quality, let's get you up here. I want you to take a look and then we'll go back and finish uh, talking about what's on the table. Look at these two bad boys. Now, not this, don't worry about that. Uh, check out these two cream pitchers. Yeah, there was no sugar, just two pitchers. Um, but hey, use them for whatever you want on the breakfast table. Milk, cream, jam, honey, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. I saw these in the glass aisle sitting there just like that. And I said, man, it's got to be Heisey because of the quality of the glass. And it's not lead crystal. But the pilot... The firing, the polishing, uh, finishing work that they did and the, uh, the type of sand and whatever they did with their formula, I'm not a Heisey expert, I'm sure other people are, was second to none. Let's zoom in, I think. I want you to see if it's possible to see. There's the old H in the diamond. Okay, that's what you want to look for. All right, now hold it still. Wait, get it up here. And inside, it says pat. Wait a minute. It says patented. This particular shape, right there, patented. See it? And then down at the bottom, we have the date. And the date. Hold on now. Is 1910. Well, see, I don't even have my eyeglasses on. So you'll have to look at it yourself through the screen. But the date is like May the 6th, 1910, something like that. But anyway, I just wanted you to see that. So both of them have that uh, patent date on them. And they were being ignored in the clear glass aisle. Yep. I'm telling you what, 1910, and they are really nice examples. This isn't old, but it looks it. It's a pretty uh, cast iron doorstop, and it looks like a 1920s cottage. Looks like that stepped right out of an R.A. Fox print, doesn't it? And it's very heavy. It's a John Wright cast iron piece. All right, cast in the USA. And we will leave this beautiful English cottage and go over to jolly old England for some ironstone. Isn't that pretty? You'll get two plates. You'll get two dessert plates or luncheon plates, really, and two cups and saucers. I like those. I, you know, I'm always thinking about my folks who it's just the two of you or one of you, and you don't need a whole set. And then in the front... Uh, you know what that is, Anchor Hawking, Waterford. Uh, and there are six uh, sherbets. And if I remember correctly, if you bought, there was something that you purchased. I'm going to have to look in my, and see if I can get a picture and stick it in here. You purchased something in the 30s, and you got six of these as a premium. I think it was either an ice cream maker uh, well, anyway, I'll search for it, and if I can find it, <clears throat> I'll stick it in this video. But you could get these for free. This is a nice late, late, th I think this came out maybe 1938, sometime in the 30s. I've always loved it. It's one of my favorite patterns um, in crystal. You can find it in pink as well. There's old hairpin, because it looks like a lady's hairpin. I guess, and but Newport, but uh, Hazel Atlas called it Newport, and we've got three cream soups sitting on top of their liners. 
Now, did I miss anything on this table? No. But I want you to know that this isn't all. There is more. I've got a 1920s curling iron in there. I've got, a, I've got another whole four-place setting of restaurant wear. Um, well, hey, go and check it out. Go look at the eBay store, and I haven't finished. You thought that I was fooling around when I took the night off on Monday, and I was not. I was busy working. And this is what I was doing. Now, uh, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be putting on a whole bunch more of the Barbie clothing. So if you're into that, you can go and look at the Barbie clothing as well. I've already sold quite a bit of it. I'll be selling more uh, over the next couple of days as I gradually get more of it listed. So I want to thank you so much for looking at the things on the table. What did you like? What was your favorite? Do you see anything you might want to put a bid on? Who knows? You know, you could get lucky and win. The auctions only run for seven days. Yeah. Oh, and then I also promised you that I would be telling you, remember I held up that cup and saucer and I said, do you know who made this and what kind of glass it is? Well, come up here for a minute. I mean, I never did tell you, but I want you to look at this glass right here. Now, this glass was made by the same company who made that cup and saucer from the other day. And I said, what is it? And I never came back to tell you. Well, this glass is also made by that same company. I think I just said the same thing twice. Uh, so in an upcoming video at some point in the next, no, maybe but before the end of the weekend, uh, we're going to talk about the company that produced this glass, not the green uh, but these pieces right here. So, okay, folks, please enjoy what you might find inside the old Curiosity Shop eBay store. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop. Now, wait for the cat. And so long for now.